At the beginning of the year, Evelyn purchased 150 shares of a company stock at $56 per share. When the price went up to $60 per share, she bought 100 more shares. A few weeks later, Evelyn bought 200 more shares at $61 per share. What is the weighted mean price per share? So this example uh, talks about buying all these stocks at, at different prices and different amounts, different numbers of stocks each time. We have 150 and then 100 and then 200. So the weighted mean means uh, if you took all of those together, and, and took an average of all all the stock prices that Evelyn has. Uh, what what did she pay on average per share? And that's what that's what the weighted mean will help us find. We're going to build the weighted mean by looking first at just the mean. The mean x bar sample mean that equals the sum of all of the numbers. This is the way we find the mean. The sum of all of the numbers the numbers in your data set, divided by the number of numbers. So in this case, we'll find that we have 450 numbers when we get to, to finding that weighted mean. So the weighted mean that weighted mean oftentimes is denoted x bar sub w and let's let's build that instead of just showing you the formula i'm just going to build this up and then i'll show the formula and show how we used it sum of all the numbers we have 56 that the number 56 shows up 150 times so i could add 56 plus 56 plus 56 i could do that 150 times or we know that multiplication is just repeated addition. So 150 times 56 is, is the first component. But we still have 100 more shares at $60 and 200 more shares at $61 per share. So I could add the number uh, 60 100 more times, or I can just say 100 times 60. That's how many uh, times we see the number 60 show up. So that will contribute to our total sum, sum of all of the numbers. And then finally, we had 200 shares at $61 a share. So that number 61 shows up 200 times. So we have to add it 200 times to this sum on the top. Now that is going to be divided by the number of numbers or the number of, sh of um, stock shares that Evelyn has. So what we have here is 150, 100, and 200 shares. So this total is 150. The total number of numbers is 150 plus 100 plus 200, which is a total of 450. So just to save some time, I'll just jump to the answer. I trust that you can um, simplify this fraction and we get that to be simplify the numerator and then the denominator and then we get to the weighted average and we're going to have a label on this it'll be dollars fifty nine dollars and eleven cents rounding to two decimal places that's the weighted average so on average that is what Evelyn paid per share now just real quickly to to look at the formula we have x bar sub w and that equals the sum this is the way the notation is written the sum of w x over the sum of w and what that means is this this w is the weight so what we had were weights weights of 150 and 100 so the number of shares and x then X is the, the individual numbers or data values that we're, that we're concerned about. And that's the, the price per share. So, so we multiplied the weight, 150 times 56 and so on. And then the sum of, we, we added those up. And then the sum of the weights is what we did right there. So that's just a breakdown of what that formula means. And, and we also uh, did it by building it, by understanding what the mean is is.